the seven best business degrees of 2023. Today, we are gonna be talking about the best business majors, and we're gonna be talking about really important stuff like the salary, the demand, and some new things that I've added to this year's list that make it even better. So if you appreciate videos like this, let me know by grounding and pounding that like button like Khabib and let's jump right into it. All right, so the rankings on this list are mostly gonna be taken from my college degree ranker, which usually people have to pay for, but I'm gonna be revealing them in this video. And the number seven one on the list is going to be advertising. On my college degree ranker, the early career pay is $43,700 a year. The mid-career pay is 86,700. That brings a salary score of 39, which is a little bit on the low side for business degrees. However, the number of jobs available are over 19,000, which means the demand score is off the charts at 106. Now, when you look at the meaning score, not so good, unfortunately, it's about 32%. Typically, business scores are a little bit lower on the meaning side. And when you look at the total amount of people who graduate with this degree, it's 4,300 per year. Now on Glassdoor, it says entry-level advertising jobs make about $70,000 per year year. And when you type in advertising on LinkedIn, and then you sort by entry level jobs only, you're going to see 96,000 results, which is excellent. So this is a skill that's very valuable. And this is something that I've started doing, which I think is much better. And that is looking up entry level jobs specifically, because there are a lot of careers out there where there's a ton of demand, but there's not a lot of demand at the entry level. This is a huge problem with the way that corporations are set up. And it's an even bigger problem with the onset of AI and automation. A lot a lot of the time those entry level jobs are basically automated and so there are no entry level jobs and this is why you see these ridiculous things like it's an entry level job that requires two to five years of experience so i started using linkedin to look up the demand at the entry level as well and this is one that has a ton of demand number six on the list is going to be international business with this one you can expect the early career pay to be about fifty thousand a year mid-career pay is ninety six thousand so that's a salary score of 53 which is decent however the number of jobs available is relatively low, about 435 when you look them up on popular websites. And that means the demand score is not that great at 49. And also, if you look at the meaning, it's 39%. And the total amount of people graduating every year is 5,600. If you look up international business on Glassdoor, you're going to see $93,000 a year for the salary. And if you look up international business on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 25,000 jobs. So this is one where you can make really good money. The demand is there, but you don't necessarily need an international business degree in order to work an international business. So just keep that in mind if you wanna go for this one. Number five on the list is going to be a marketing degree. Now, when it comes to the numbers, marketing degrees are actually relatively decent, especially compared to other business degrees. The early career pay here is four $48,000 a year, mid-career pays 89,000. That means the salary score is 46, which is decent for business degrees. However, the demand score is absolutely off the charts at 146. I believe this is actually the highest demand score out of any degree out there. The meaning is 39% and there's 35,000 bachelor graduates per year. Now, if you type in marketing on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $79,000 a year. And if you look up marketing on LinkedIn at the entry level, there is a whopping 694,000 results. Now, this is gonna be controversial and it's also gonna be a really hot take. There is a massive amount of demand for people who have marketing skills. I do not think colleges do a good job of teaching marketing. But with that being said, companies do hire people with marketing degrees because they need people in those positions. Now, the most valuable skill of all by a mile in marketing is going to be digital marketing. Almost any other form of marketing, it's incredibly difficult to track your money, right? If you put up a billboard or you do a radio ad or a TV ad, you don't necessarily know if people are buying because of that ad. Whereas with digital marketing, you know exactly how much people are buying and you know exactly why they're buying it. And unfortunately, marketing curriculums do a terrible, terrible job of teaching digital marketing. And I have to be nice to them. The reason for that is because digital marketing changes so rapidly. Five years ago, Facebook ads were absolutely amazing. Now they're still pretty good, but they're not nearly as good as they were. And plus the way that you run Facebook ads is completely different. So by far the best experience to get in digital marketing is actually working in digital marketing. And my business partners and I have been helping people get jobs in digital marketing without a college degree and without any experience. And if you wanna check out a free masterclass to figure out exactly how we've been doing that. I will put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Number four on the list is going to be supply chain management. 
Super, super underrated major. With this one, the early career pay is 58,000. Mid career pay is 94,000. Salary score is 61, so really good. Demand score is 105, so very good as well. Meaning is 41%, which is decent. And there's 5,100 graduates per year. On Glassdoor, supply chain managers make about $93,000 a year. And if you type in supply chain management on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 85,000 results at the entry level, which is phenomenal. So tons of demand for this one. It's not the sexiest thing to do, I know. Like, you don't get excited about working on supply chains, at least most people probably don't, but super, super valuable skill to know. Number three on the list is going to be a finance degree. Early career pay here is 55,000 a year. Mid career pay is 98,000. Salary score is 60. Number of jobs available is 95,000 with a ridiculous demand score of 133, meaning is 40%, and bachelor grads per year is 37,000. You type in finance on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about $96,000 a year. And if you type in finance on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see 321,000 results. So a lot of different jobs you can go into, of course, in finance. I will say one thing about it, and I've mentioned this before on the channel, finance is better if you're more of like a competitive A-type personality because there's some really, really good lucrative jobs that you can get. But if you're not that type of personality, a lot of the time it might be better to do a different degree. Like the next one on the list, for instance, which is accounting. Early career pay for accounting is gonna be 51,000. Mid career pay is 88,000. Salary score is 48. Number of jobs available, 77,000 with a ridiculous demand score of 127 meaning is 41%, and there are 50,000 bachelor grads per year. If you look up accounting on Glassdoor, you're gonna see they make about 55,000 a year. And if you look up accounting at the entry level on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 317,000 results. So yeah, accounting is a super, super stable career and degree to get. So many different things you can do with accounting as well. It's a lot more flexible than a finance degree is. You can also go into chill jobs, or if you wanna push yourself, you can go into more like high pressure jobs and make a lot of money there. There's a lot of examples of accountants who end up becoming executives in big businesses. So yeah, really, really solid degree. Number one on the list, one of my absolute favorite degrees is gonna be management information systems. And this is a degree that combines business skills with technology skills. Early career pay is 60,000. Mid-career pay is 105,000. Salary score is a very healthy 70. Number of jobs available is 39,000. Demand score is 113, meaning is 42%, which is pretty decent for a business degree. And the bachelor grads per year is 7,800. If you type in management information systems on Glassdoor, the salary it shows is 96,000. And if you type that in on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 48,000 results at the entry level. So 7,000 grads per year, 48,000 results at the entry level you can do the math there. Management information is phenomenal and it is my favorite business degree by far. Like I mentioned before, digital marketing, a phenomenal skill set. My business partner, Seth, and I have been getting people jobs left and right. Check out this video right here of James, who was a 16 year old, who was able to get a $40,000 a year job working only 30 hours a week. Gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.